hello everybody! How's it going? Geekling here. <laughs> We're playing more Genshin. <laughs> I just loaded it up. I haven't played any of the new update yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so we have a lot of exclamation points to get rid of, and you guys know how I feel about those. So we're gonna do that real quick. Um, but we are playing Chiori's quest today, so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that. Yay! Except, yes. Yippee! <laughs> How's everybody doing? Are we good? I hope we are doing good. Oh, I forgot about these. I guess that one. Whatever. The Mondstadt banner. The one that sucks because the fate points don't carry. <laughs> we got the queen in here and she started the party. Heck yeah. You know it. Ugh. I don't like the fact that there's no fate points. Like, that they don't carry over. It's kind of annoying. It would be really good if it wasn't for that, man. But I'm not pulling on that banner. My favorite Star Destroyer! Heck yeah! I, I have Once, the power of- Okay, okay, Venti. Kingdom. kingdom established amongst the heavens. No thanks, Venti. Yippee! Wow! <laughs> it saved all the stuff I did. Epic. I used the Mondstadt banner and I got Albedo. Um, if you wanted Albedo, then congratulations. If you didn't, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think if I wanted a lot of the characters on the banner, then it would be different. But I only want- Eula is the only one I don't have. Though maybe, I don't know. Maybe if I get Chiori, I could use the rest on here to try and get Eula. Because Pity carries. The Pity does carry, it's just the Fate Points don't. And I do want a lot of these weapons. Especially this. Oh my gosh, I have so many Claymore characters. And not nearly enough good weapons for them. So maybe, maybe we'll see. Got a show. Okay. Well, I am- I'm doing alright today. Oh, I forgot. Lynette has a hangout now. Cool. All right. I just tell it like it is. Well, we'll, we'll do that one another it, time. Um, maybe that's their problem. Let's see here. Oh, huh, too I slow. forgot. I got to do the test runs. Usually I've usually I do these, you know, before I stream. So, um, let's do Itos first cuz we know how he works. I got Albedo in the lowest pity I got. I think I like 11. Sheesh. Congrats. Love Albedo in this house. Alright. Now I know how Ito works. Eh. He's fun. I really need to properly build him. <laughs> He's just so fun. Don't waste my time. Everybody stand! Your life is mine. Yippee. Charge! Everyone on me! Lucky I already have I already have everybody in this version except for um, except for Shiori, so I'm not gonna be wishing at all in the next phase, so And then the next version Yes, we have Arlequino, which is an issue. <laughs> um That is a problem. But you know, it's fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm good. I'm so glad they added this button, I swear. I'll do the four star ones later off stream, but let's do Chiori's. But I'm going for Farina. I know there's a bunch of Arlequino lovers out there, and I love her too. But I'm mad I didn't get Farina, so <laughs> I'm gonna get her. Okay. I should have read what that does. Okay, hold on. Look at her. She's got a very unique design. Okay, let me... No. Let me look and see. This is just... 
normal. Okay. Nimbly forward. Summons a doll. Dealing AoE Geo. Okay. Holding skill will cause it to aim differently. Okay, we can aim where we go. Kind of like... Um... I'll hate them. Okay. She's good with other Geo characters. Okay, she's easy. She's not complicated. <laughs> Alright. That's good to hear. Alright. Okay. Delicate as silk. Wow. Oh, okay. I like that they're adding a lot of new geotypes, because it felt like a lot of the geo characters were pretty samey for a while there. Those dolls stay there for a really long time. <laughs> the cutting edge as she slashes them to death. Okay. Okay, okay. I like it. She's nice and straight to the point. We like. We love. I'm screwed for that version. I'll hype him, Arla, Farina, and someone else I can't remember. Linny. Tiori's dolls are cute. They are. Okay. I'm going for my husband, Rithesley, <laughs> as you should. <laughs> oh, boy. Mooncat is also here. I'm feeling left out. <laughs> oh, hi, Mooncat. Yeah, honestly, they're. I'm glad they're adding more Geo. But honestly, we have not had a new Electro character in forever. Forever. It's crazy. I'm sorry, Emerald. <laughs> okay, well, if I were to confirm a selection on this, I guess it'd be Eula, because I don't have her. Alright, but we're not doing that. We're doing Chiori first. Alright, guys, ready? I don't know what my pity's at. I think it's low, because I just pulled the eye, so... All right, let's do this thing. I'm only gonna let myself get one five star on this one. What the heck? <laughs> what is wrong with this game? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> I'm... Maybe streamer luck is real. Maybe I just had to let it kick in. I don't know. What? <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> what? Okay! You know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I don't care. I don't care that it's not Chiori. I love my baby boy. Come here. Come here, my baby. My child. Literally, not even mad. I don't care if I don't get Chiori, but this is- this is good. This is good, too. It's not Jean or Kuching, so I'm happy. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not mad at all in the slightest. Yeah. Nope. No regrets here, honestly. <laughs> not Kuching. I want a refund. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, because I got that in, like, the first ten pull, I'm gonna keep going. If I had used, like, half my stuff, it'd be different, but... I... <laughs> that doesn't count. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know what my luck has been lately. This is insane. Good thing it wasn't Chi-Chi. Don't slander my girl like that. I love Chi-Chi. More Chi-Chi's for me. I will take any of them, except for... Jean, Kuching, or Dia. Because I don't want them and I don't use them. <laughs> I'll only allow one five. Not on the first ten pull. Not on the first ten pull. We'll do more, okay? Let's let's go. Well now we know what our pity is. Okay. I was like, if it turns gold again, I'll freaking lose it. Alright. More Dory. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yay, Yunjin! <laughs> I actually like Yunjin. Statistically speaking, you will get Kuching at one point, right? Yes. Statistically speaking, that is true. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's keep it going. <gasps> I have no clue. Hey, Goro. Okay. I have no clue why my luck has been like this. Like, in both Star Rail and Genshin, it's been absolutely wild. I don't know what's happening. It's, is it finally my turn to be happy? <laughs> wow. Okay, I think this one's like 30. Someone mentioned Booth Hill. <laughs> or Boot Hill or however you say his name. Goro again. Okay. All right. Yes. I'm so excited and in danger. I love him. With this streamer luck, you never know when you'll get a double five star again. I know. Man, that's a triple four star, too. Dang. Geekling, I'm so sorry, but you got simps in your chat? I'm setting a good example um, as the biggest simp in the universe. <laughs> I will simp for everybody. Okay, triple four star is nice. And none of them are Dory, so that's also good. All right, let's keep her going. <laughs> is, is that pity 40? <laughs> Y'all, what's that? <laughs> what, what did I do? What have I done differently in my life to deserve this? Come here, Chiori. I am Chiori. Yay! The owner of Chiori Feel free to find me if you'd like to commission Yippee! any tailor-made outfits. As for any other requests, it all depends on whether you have enough to offer in exchange. Of course. <laughs> Just the what rules is of this? business. I don't know. You scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. I also, feel. I feel. Smoking, drinking, and causing a ruckus are all strictly prohibited within the boutique. I got the you. The customer is king concept doesn't fly here. <laughs> and even when royalty She's does come so into blunt, the shop, I love it. If they don't adhere to the rules, they'll find themselves being tossed out and kissing the pavement just like anyone else. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love her. Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I have no clue. Y'all remember my new Violette polls. Y'all know how that went, and my right sleep polls, and all those. Who are you and where is Geekling? My streamer would never be this lucky. I know. So now I have now I have both Chiori and C1 Tainari. Let's go. Well, I got some left. I might as well. <laughs> might as well. Might as well go on the Monstat banner. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I'm just gonna go until I run out, though, and then we're gonna be all done. She's rambling. Oh, yeah, you should have heard Cloud- or you should hear Cloud Retainers. I don't have her, but I've heard videos. It's always the characters you don't want that bad. I know, always. It's crazy. Alright, let's go. Except for Jing Yuen. Jing Yuen had mercy on me. Also, you guys, you can get you can get Kaya on this banner. Who I want desperately. Okay, Fischl's cool too. I'll take Fischl. I have her C6 though. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Um these weapons are like really good for people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go until I run out, like until I have not enough for those weapons, because I think someone might need these. All right. Oh wait, have I gotten everything out of here? I haven't. Okay. Let's go. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Don't you mean Sayu? Yes. All right. Yippee! I'm not expecting a lot. I'm just doing this for fun. Building pity, as they say. B 
Bennett. I already have him at max. Let's go. All right. Singles. Wow. I just want a Kaya constellation. Is that so much to ask? Or is that greedy after everything? Wow. Come on, one more four star. Please. I'm begging. No. Denied. Okay. Whatever! That's fine. I, d I didn't care anyway. <laughs> Alrighty. All in all, not bad. C6 Yunjin. C1 Tignati. Dory, I guess. <laughs> At least get enough pity to get Rifesley. It's gonna be something. She's so cool. Okay. Well, let's level her up. Let's get one more for the road. Man. I feel like I'm about to... I feel like I'm about to, like, lose. <laughs> lose all of my luck in every game. I feel like this is kind of bad how much how much luck I've got going on. Yippee! Okay. Hold on, my, my wires on my desk are annoying me. Okay. Just gotta get them in a different position. All right. Oh, <laughs> man. Why? I don't know what I did. Anyway, um, excuse me. That NPC just showed up out of nowhere. Alright. Let's get my Fontaine team out. Yes. Alright. Now for the quest. That's not where I want to go. I never want to go to Enkonomiya. If I ever willingly go to Enkonomiya, um... Then you know that, um, I'm fake. <laughs> I'm a fake geekling. <laughs> I'm not real. I've heard of Yu-Gi-Oh, but I haven't- I haven't- I haven't done anything with it. Wow. Let's see what they're for. Hello? Is- is this really okay? Her hairstyle is so interesting, but very cool. I told you I could do it using the leftover funds from the original deposit. Don't tell me you're afraid that I cheaped out on the dress. Ugh. For shame. How dare. No, not at all. I have only the fullest faith in your work, Miss Chiori. Clearly you don't. Are you playing any games that involve luck in the next couple of months? <laughs> Probably just the normal Genshin and Star Rail, you know how it is. I'm just in shock, that's all. It's always been my dream to wear a Chioria boutique dress for my wedding. I really thought the chance had passed me by. Wow. Wait, isn't that Chiori? She's actually at her shop today? Man, her shoes. Props to anybody that can walk in shoes like that because, uh, no. <laughs> I think I would die, actually. Oh, Fontaine Fashion Week. There. Well, once she's done with her customer, we can go and ask her. Yeah. Also, you know, she, like, works here and stuff. I'm a woman of my word. If I say I can do something, then it'll be done. The first rule of business is to always keep your promises. Wow. Now, remember to not fold the gown or store it under direct sunlight. I'd recommend only taking it out on the day of the wedding. But from the look on your face, I can tell that may be a little difficult for you. <laughs> Try my best. <laughs> Once he sees me in this, his jaw is gonna drop straight to the floor. I feel if we did the design tier list now, Chiori would be high A, if not S tier. I would definitely say a solid A. Solid high A, I think. There's little, little nitpicks I don't really like. Um, but honestly, they're not that big of a deal. 
I mostly just don't like the gray portions. They don't really fit into the color palette to me. Is that really so shocking? It is mine after all. I would have made them the darker blue. Or just the brown. But other than that, it's very solid. I like it. Anything you're looking for today? A custom design or perhaps some ready-to-wear outfits for kids? <laughs> we need to get Paimon a new outfit. Hey, Paimon's not a kid! You might as well be. You sure act like one. Alright, fashion oh, week. That... What's happening in the well, fashion world? If news of the, the gray would be nice if it was contrasting like a blue I or a purple or gray. The Agreed. Apparel Association's advertising efforts have paid off. Especially because they got the little purple accents and stuff. Or even beige, yeah. Are there any fun and popular I just don't like the look of gray and brown together. <laughs> but that's just a personal thing. Ugh, fashion week isn't what I'd call fun. But it certainly always attracts a crowd. It's a fashion extravaganza that only takes place once a year, after all. Wow. Well, you Gotta get your name out there even more. You? Of course. All designers at the Court of Fontaine use the week to advertise their brand. Hi, A. Yep. If you're lucky, I agree. You could even land a large amount of Still orders as soon as the main show ends. Come to think of it, it was also at a previous fashion week that our label first mm -hmm. took off. Hmm. Aren't you pretty much an established name now? People will still buy your clothes even if you don't participate this year, right? No, but it's a good time to show off new designs. Yeah, that's not quite how it works. <laughs> While many people buy clothes for fit and style, the fashion industry also strongly values a label's artistic vision and creative direction. Why would anyone patronize a label that hasn't even bothered to put out any new designs for the year? True. They're just gonna be like, man, they just, they just, they're so last year, you know? <laughs> they're like, ah, oh, darn. Will this also be a short quest? I plan to mourn the death of my plant today. <laughs> um, my guess is it's probably gonna be about a couple hours-ish. Maybe like two and a half hours. That's usually how long they are. <laughs> also, man, it's taking you a long time to mourn the death of your plants. Is just a <laughs> Didn't it die a few weeks ago? Times. People support your brand because they support the vision it represents. Huh. Okay, so maybe fashion's more complicated than Paimon thought. <laughs> All that complicated stuff aside, you're saying we'll be able to see new Chioria designs at the show? Yes, Paimon. <laughs> Did you not hear the woman? Absolutely. The designs have already been finalized. I'm just waiting for the fabrics to arrive. Ooh, are you using materials you can't get in Fontaine? A few months, I think, actually. <laughs> Man. It just, it feels like yesterday that we lost the plant. Well, I still have a certain partiality to Inazuma-made fabrics. The textures are pleasant to the touch, and their familiarity gives me a sense of security. My only gripe is how short her dress is. Oh, it's pretty short, yeah. It's taking me a lot of time to process uh, everything. <laughs> something like that. Yes. We're a long way from Inazuma, though. Aren't you concerned that your shipment might get Yeah, I think it would be better if way? it was, if it was, like, thigh length. Like, mid-thigh length. But they probably, they probably didn't have that because they wanted to show this off. But I would have moved that down to the calf, probably. No need to worry. I've already taken steps to ensure that it'll arrive safely. It looks I've better from angles where it looks Express's longer. Most reliable courier. Ah. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Hello. Jerry, your your shipment's here. I know it's quite late, so I'm oh, really, really sorry. <laughs> ah. Darn. <laughs> she took forever. Don't they have anybody else that works at this place? She looks like she's, like, wearing herself thin every time we see her. Deep breaths, Kirara. Then start again. <laughs> oh, so Kirara's the courier you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, Who do you hey, think? Oh, and Paimon. Fancy seeing you here in Fontaine. It's been a while. It has indeed. Oh, wait a second. 
This is the second time that you've seen me flip a delivery job now, isn't it? Man, 100% oh, failure rate. To catch me off my game, huh? So, what was the holdup? Sailing delays, bad weather? Huh? No, nothing like that. I just ran into a bit of trouble, that's all. Uh-huh. Bandits, then? Or treasure hoarders? Huh. <sighs> A few run-ins on the road aren't usually enough to give you any trouble. Yeah, honestly, I would say that it's like her being like, Oh, it's nothing. I was just attacked on the way here. <laughs> I think that's actually kind of worse. Well, I didn't run into anyone exactly. I just got a little lost. The tales are giving you away, Keeping honey. Keeping you honest as always, I see. Uh... <laughs> Darn. <laughs> her cover's been blown, guys. Oh, I was stopped by a group of bandits as soon as I entered Fontaine. They were a little different from the ones I usually run into. I could hear them mumbling about Comania Express. It was obvious they were looking for someone with two tails. Ah. Well, it's okay. There's plenty of those people to go around, right? <laughs> so it was a targeted hit? Uh... I got the sense that they were actually targeting Chiori's goods. Hmm. What if? Hang on a minute. I'm about to. I'm about to guess the whole plot. <laughs> they want to somehow steal Chiori's designs. Ooh, and then pass them off as their own. And they're stealing. They're stealing the the fabrics because they're the. The genuine fabrics she was gonna use. Ooh. So that way they get more business. Why is her mouth moving when she's not talking? It's putting me on edge. <laughs> because they really, they have not, they're not cool like Star Rail and they don't have the auto, the auto lip sync. My fabric shipment? Yeah, they said that I could go as long as I left the goods with them. Otherwise, they'd stuff me into my delivery box and toss me into the sea to drown. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> um, all over some fabrics? I think maybe that's a little, a little dramatic. Oh, are you okay, Kimura? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I'm still a yokai after all. I turned them over to the guards. It just took me a while to round them all up. Yeah. Well, it's not completely out of the ordinary for one of your deliveries to get intercepted. But it still doesn't make sense how you knew it was my goods they were after. You've got other deliveries to make in Fontaine, don't you? Is there something else that you're keeping from me? Oh boy. Uh, um... Well... <laughs> the way her tails just start going, I'm <laughs> like, okay. Perhaps I need to reconsider how many stars to give you in my review. No. Oh. oh no. Uh, you always know how to get me, Chiori. All right, I'll talk, I'll talk. Man. It's been a hard day for Kirara, man. Imagine getting attacked on the way to do your job and then you get there and the person- Like, you still make the delivery and then the person's like, Yeah, so I'm gonna give you one star. <laughs> Sucks. So, Sorry, I almost I, died I to give you this to shipment, why but why whatever. A hit on me, so I spent a bit of time investigating. One of the bandits had a loose tongue, which saved me some time. He said that a certain person had commissioned them to intercept Chioria Boutique's delivery. Is it another designer? Please tell me it is. I'm gonna feel so smart. And who might this person be? The classic I'll rate you zero stars on Yelp. No, please. That's the equivalent of, um, that's the equivalent of, what is it? I'll, <laughs> let me speak to your manager for, like, Uber people. <laughs> like, no! Uh, Not zero sorry. stars. Why don't we just let this one go? I mean, I didn't really get injured, and you've still got Fashion Week to worry about. I appreciate your kindness, Kirara. But if I don't teach this person a lesson, I doubt they'll stop here. <laughs> she is... She's very interesting for a Genshin character. We haven't had, like, a female that's just, like, so blunt like this. <laughs> Anyone it's cool. Anyone dares to mess with one of my friends deserves a stern talking to and then some. <laughs> but she's still so nice. Like, look at her. All right. The guy said that the commissioner was someone by the name of Uther. Oh, I thought it was going to be Uther. <laughs> I was like, like Merlin? Have you guys watched Merlin? Oh my gosh. 
It's been forever since I watched that show. I gotta re-watch re it. So good. Oh, Tara. No, that name rings a bell. Wouldn't you say, Kirara? Well... Who is it? exactly why I didn't want to bring it up to you. Is it another designer? Please. So you both know this Uter guy? Through Chiori's complaints about him, sure. Yes! <laughs> I win! It is goal in life to make hers as miserable as possible. Am I getting smart smarter or is Genshin getting predictable? <laughs> what did I say? I literally had no clues and then I just figured it out. This is making up for this is making up for the for the um Star Rail stream. <laughs> to be fair, Sparkle makes no sense, but you know. Merlin like the mage? Yeah. <laughs> it's good, it's good. If you haven't watched it, you should. Did you see the drip marketing for 4.5 and 2.2 for Genshin and Star Rail? That I did. Um, I definitely am going to be going for everybody. <laughs> um, though I'm going to be prioritizing for Rina over Arlecchino. Um, but I'll... Now that I've done my polls for this version, I'm going to be saving entirely for that. So, if I get Farina early, then I will get, um, go for Arlecchino. <laughs> I'm sure you're getting smarter, and those plot lines are definitely not the most predictable thing in the world. <laughs> definitely. Pension oh, predictable? So he's like a Never. business rival. A rival is what you call someone who fights you fair and square. Hmm... I called Uter, it. However, just has it out for me as a designer. He's publicly disparaged my design choices, my use of materials. <laughs> He's practically tried every trick in the book to ruin my good name. He's probably just jealous. I warned him before to compete with me fair and square, but I guess he prefers playing dirty. Well, I'm more than happy to oblige. Well, it's good you know. Good you know that it was him. Should Wait, go post Jerry, on Twitter. Go, go cancel that man. To teach someone a lesson. You must be tired after your long journey. Why don't you rest in my shop for a little while before heading back? Chiori! Wait! <laughs> oh and boy. And she's gone. <laughs> and so's the period. <laughs> Darn. Oh yes, and for Star Rail. Um, Star Rail, I'm so in danger, honestly. <laughs> Robin and Boot Hill, uh, okay. <laughs> They're both so good. Honestly, I'm- I'm very- Star Rail is hurting me a bit because I want literally everybody. Oh no. What should we do? You seem concerned. Should we be worried about Chiori? Two, three is no more. <laughs> yeah, but- well, she's always been the type of person to face things head on. But with her fiery temper, I'm just worried whatever she's about to do will feel negative publicity about her right before the start of Fashion Week. Nah, not if we cancel that man. Traveler, Paimon, could you go after her and check out the situation for me? As a formal employee of Komania Express, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to get involved. Of course. That man's career is over. Yeah, we'll take good care of Chiori. Uh, well, uh, to be honest... I'm more worried about that Uter guy's safety. <laughs> yeah, honestly. That's fair. <laughs> hey, I'm struggling too! <laughs> yeah. I I'm about I'm gonna be feeling a lot of pain, I think, for the for the upcoming Star Rail banners. Oh, Chevreus is here. Hey. Any chance you're on the clock, officer? <sighs> Nothing good ever comes out of you addressing me like that. <laughs> Am I able to report a crime to you, officer? <laughs> oh? And I see the Traveler and Paimon are here, too. Hi. Shabras, we meet again. I never got her. I just realized. Kind of forgot that I didn't. How's it well, going? Well, things have been fine on my end. We were able to bring in a large number of recruits thanks to that film we made. Yes, the super duper epic, cool film we made. That was such a fun event. I liked it. I suppose it. the trade off is that I'm now constantly getting stopped for autographs while out on patrol. Not ideal, if you ask me. Yeah. Well, you were one of the leading roles after all. So, did something happen? 
Indeed it did. Crimes. I'll need you to come with me. Crimes, Cheverus, crimes. <laughs> I only ever hear that phrase from you. Usually I'm the one asking people to do that. Well, Haha, <laughs> funny. Are you coming? <laughs> Not before I know what you're planning. Oh. <laughs> have I ever made a bad call? The better question is, have you ever made one that didn't violate proper procedure? <laughs> Tiori, what have you done? <laughs> okay. A man hired a group of bandits to mug my friend. I'm about to go teach him a lesson. <laughs> just, like, her just coming up to this guard and being like, I'm about to beat someone up. <laughs> just so you know, you can't stop me. Are you sure this is something you should be telling the captain of the special patrol? It's literally what I just it's said. to tell whether you're here to report a case or turn yourself in for one. Yeah. <laughs> Neither. I'm requesting personal supervision from said captain. So I don't do anything too out of line. You know, probably best. Are you planning to? Not if I can help it. <laughs> she needs she needs supervision. <sighs> All right. Where is this person? Follow me. Don't worry if Chiori doesn't if Chiori doesn't um mess him up then I will. Just promise you'll start trying to keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> Tall order, Shevers. Stops coming my way. I'll be sure to get on that. <laughs> sure, you about to teach the man the meaning of violence? I know. This should be the place. You all wait here. I'll go have a chat with him. Oh boy. You know, Chevrez, Paimon gets the sense that you two are actually pretty close. It's just as Chiori said. We got to know each other pretty well in our lines of work. You could call it a you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours sort of situation. How does a fashion designer and a captain of the guard <laughs> get to know each other? Does Pray Chiori tell. often need your help? Uh, I'd say it's mutual. The special patrol needs her help quite often as well. We've got tough problems of our own. Getting people to talk, for example. Oh, so she's just scary. That's that's why. Gotcha. They're like, they're like, yeah. Um, you're you won't you don't want to talk? Well, we'll bring out our um special operative um Chiori. They're like, no, please, <laughs> not her. Anything but her. <laughs> I'm begging, don't hurt me. The uniform, the musket. They're intimidating. Most people clam up the minute they see us. Lip sealed so tight. I want Acheron, but saw her gameplay. Like it's not great. I have Jepard, so adventuring doesn't have much value. Depending what Robin does, I'll consider it. Well, she has Harmony, so chances are it'll be a good buff. But yeah. Acheron, I'm gonna be pulling casually on her. I'm probably just gonna get to one five star and call it good <laughs> on that one. <laughs> um, though actually, I don't know, because I'm on Guaranteed. Because I just pulled, I just pulled Clara. So, I don't know. I do really want adventuring, though, because, um, tall men. <laughs> the end. That's all. So, we'll, we'll see how her gameplay is. If not, I'll catch her on a rerun. I would rather have adventuring than Acheron. But put them in a clothing boutique. <laughs> they need they to look fashionable while combating crime. Than the waters of the fountain you of make Lucene. a fair point. Oh, is it because they're trying to show off or something? Yep. People are vain creatures. They can't help but want to talk up new developments in their lives or show off how much they know about other people. <laughs> and Boon Hill, I need him. I need him so bad. Like Me too. Oh my gosh. He's so cool. Ever since I saw his leaks, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> As a result, Dangerous. Chiori often picks up on all kinds of information in her shop. Most of her customers are members of the upper class, which means they're pretty much up to the gills in wealth and intel. Mm -hmm. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Huh, Hyman gets it now? Wow, the brain cells are communicating. Exactly. I'm also here to ensure Chiori's safety. Those who make trouble for her also tend to be rich and powerful. And in some very rare cases, I'm forced to protect other people from Chiori herself. I actually would say that that's probably not the most <sighs> so, rare cases. <laughs> got on her case this time? It's been a while since I last saw her that angry. Oh, so this is what happened. Okay, good. We don't have to listen to the whole conversation. <laughs> They're getting better huh? about that. Uter, you say? Yes. 
You've heard of him? Is yep. he a problem child? He's made trouble for Chiori several ah. times already. He's fond of pretty much every dirty trick in the book. I heard that even the Maison Guardianage issued him a warning due to his behavior. Oh, if he's already got a warning, then it's time to lock him up. So he's back at it, huh? His funeral, I guess. I saw his VA and recognized him immediately. Ooh. Paimon once again proving that she's worth more as emergency rations than a companion. Whoa, what's this about a funeral I all of know. A I just meant that Uter's done for. Now bring it in, you two. Get right up close. I... Okay. Sure, but why? I'm ready to because arrest a man. This is probably going to turn into one of those very rare cases I just talked about. Those very rare cases. Yeah. Man, we were too slow. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's dead. Rip, my guy. You should have known better. What are you doing? I thought she was Stay about to from kick me. him. <laughs> That would hurt to kick him in the face with those shoes. Has anyone shoes. ever taught you the definition of stupidity? Ouch, man. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> huh? Stupidity is doing the same meaningless thing over and over again. Oh my gosh. Put him in his place. That's what he deserves. It appears you've forgotten what I told you before. So, allow me to refresh your memory. Lay off the dirty tricks. <laughs> you tell him. You get him. <clears throat> we need to put him in timeout. Oh, and if you dare lay your hands Love on cowboy my aesthetic. Again, Heck yeah. Expect a far less pleasant landing next time. And with the with the mech parts, ooh, very nice. <laughs> Not violence, but she did teach a man the meaning of something. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Chiori. Hey, that was a good transition. Officer, an assault's in progress. An assault. Please, officer, you've got to do something. Oh, no. <laughs> um, actually, we're here to arrest of you. Of course. I'll do my utmost to investigate the situation. Unfortunately, I was chatting with this traveler and seemed to have missed what happened. Oh, no. Not to worry, though. Darn it. If you allow me to search the scene, I'm sure I'll be able to collect some useful evidence. You don't mind, do you? There's nothing in there that would implicate you in any illegal activity, I would hope. I... Forget it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ms. Chiori, I must also ask you to refrain from engaging in such disorderly conduct in the future. Especially out in the open like this. <laughs> yeah, do whatever you want in inside, you know, behind closed doors, but... <laughs> come on. In the middle of the street? Dang. <sighs> Apologies, officer. I guess you could say I'm just used to tossing out any trash I come across on the street. Oh, burn. Burn. Look how mad he is. Oh my gosh. You. Ooh. What are you gonna do? Is there anything else either of you have to say for yourselves? That's all from me. I sincerely hope that today's events will never happen again. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, behave yourself. What a graceful arc. Honestly, beautiful. It was great. Now's not the time to be accepting compliments. What happened to not doing anything too out of line? <laughs> we took too long to get there, Chevros. Oh, not if I could help it, is what I said. And I think I kept that. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, started I see with nothing wrong warning, with this. But he displayed neither shame nor remorse. If anything... He kept running his mouth with insults and threats. I'd say this was justified. I say give her a pass. Insults and threats so bad that he deserved to be tossed out like a sack of trash? Yes. Believe it or not, they were that bad. He deserved to get knocked down a peg. It's the only way to get him to stop. You could have reported him to the guards. Oh, I will. But it'll take some time for them to gather evidence. And he denied that he ever had anything to do with those bandits. Yeah. I don't want anything else to happen during Fontaine Fashion Week. On top of that, if Kirara is going to continue delivering goods for me, the least I can do is guarantee her safety. Yeah. Because she is a little less formidable <laughs> against these guys. Oh, that reminds me. 
There is another favor I'd like to ask of you today. Another person? Is there another person we gotta beat mm, up? What a shame. I believe you've already used up your favor quota for the day. Man. Have These I... guys are well, savage. It's a good thing I was planning on taking an advance on tomorrow's quota then. Don't you think you're maxed out on advances already? <laughs> I always pay you back in information, don't I? It's just like you said. You scratch my back, and I scratch yours. <laughs> Man. I mean, honestly, I see nothing wrong with this. <laughs> I am very willing to simply turn a blind eye to that. <laughs> Chiori committing crimes? No. Actually, um, who's Chiori again? I don't even know. I... <laughs> Never met her. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. No clue. Uter? No, definitely have not heard of that man. We're back. Whatever it was, he deserved it though. Weba. You were gone for an awfully long time. Oh, please tell me nothing bad happened. There's nothing to worry about. All you need to know is that it's you'll never have to is that some kind of bird? <laughs> messing with your I don't again. know, man. Uh, sorry, Chiori. I didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. So let's let's keep politics out of the chat, folks. What are you talking about? You didn't do anything wrong. Those greedy bandits are to blame, along with a certain someone who doesn't know when to lay off the petty tricks. The next time you need to leave the city, call the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. They'll escort you half of the way, and the Spina di Rasula can take the second half. Yes. Gotta make sure you're safe. With that sort of escort, the next time you make a delivery, those treasure hoarders won't go anywhere near your goods. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's to offer to carry them for you. <laughs> yeah, like a treasure hoarder would do that. <laughs> they would like be like, oh, can I carry your bag for you? And then they just run off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good one, Chiori. I'm being serious. You know me. If I bring something up, you can assume it's already a done deal. You're going. Boot Hill was really tomorrow, out of left right? field. I knew he was. I I follow like leaks and stuff, so I've known about him for a while. But I did not know he was gonna be like here, <laughs> like now. Um. The leaks did not say that. I knew of his existence, but not when. <laughs> not when he would exist. Wait, you don't mean... I've already spoken to the captain of the special patrol. As discussed, the patrol's going to take a small detour during their daily training tomorrow. As for Navia, I'll give her a heads up in a bit. There's really no need. I'm just a simple courier. I don't need to be surrounded by a bunch of armed guards. <laughs> Or ones with sunglasses, for that matter. Hey, Don't why not? Much? Take this opportunity while it's here, Kurara. Come on. Well, you certainly shouldn't count on such a procession for every trip you make to Fontaine. It's just a one-off thing. For my own peace of mind. It'll also show those guys what'll happen to those who dare to mess with my friends. Yep. It's already done, so well, not much you can you do about it. Well, if it's a good idea, Traveler, then... I guess it's fine. Yeah, plus you'll have some company. You'll have some company. <laughs> Clearly, I don't look at leaks aside from gameplay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I usually avoid, like, story leaks, but I like to know what banners are coming up. should be good to go for Fontaine Fashion Week, right? But sometimes they don't even know. <laughs> Just like that. I believe so. I'll try to churn out a few more outfits over the next few days. I've heard a lot of suppliers will be participating this year. Hmm. Gonna take a guess and say if suppliers are super important? But of course. They supply us designers with funding, equipment, factory access. You have to work with them if you want to become a truly renowned fashion house. Wow. That's also why I'm this learning year's so fashion much. week is so important to me. But isn't your brand already really famous, Chiori? Your clothes are so pretty and so nice to wear. I can't help but brag about them to my customers whenever I get the chance. Even so, I would imagine there are still people who've never heard of the Chioria brand, yes? Oh, she wants everyone to know. Honestly, yeah, valid. Well... I mean, with the amount of places that I deliver to, 
it's only natural that some people from other nations haven't heard of it. Then it's still not famous enough. <laughs> My goal is to make the Chioria brand. She knows her worth. All of to that. At least that she knows her worth. All of it? Your business would have to get pretty huge then. Wait. Would that mean I could just go to any Chioria branch on the continent to get my clothes fixed? It has been pretty inconvenient having to come to Fontaine every time I need to get them patched up. Alternatively, of course, you could just be a bit more careful with them. <laughs> They're already about as durable as I can make them. Well, you know, clothes don't last that long, even if they're durable. <laughs> you might get a few years out of them, you know? <laughs> okay, I'll admit, they do get snagged on branches pretty often. But I can't help it! It's hard to be careful about that sort of thing when you're trying to take a nice nap in a tree. Well, if that's your dream, Chiori, then we should do our best to make it a reality! Heck yeah. Is there anything we can do to help out with Fashion Week? Hmm... I'm sure I could think of something. I'm sure you could. Oh, what is it? What is it? Also, Paimon, why do you have to sign us up for everything? Aren't I? I'm, I'm supposed to be looking for my brother, but okay. <laughs> why don't you come to my shop tomorrow and model for me? Simply put, you'll serve as my living mannequins. Oh my gosh. You guys, guess what? We're not going to get to see it at all because Genshin would never put in the effort. Oh, so we get to try on That's some too of much blood? effort. Got it. They're not going to put any clothes on us. Seeing them off the rack will also give me the chance to make some small adjustments to the stitching and the silhouette of the design. I imagine that if you fight bandits on a daily, your clothes would get pretty roughed up. True. I can't say I'm doing it that. easy enough. Alright, can we keep the outfits? Most of the clothes you see during Fashion Week are meant to showcase the designer's vision. They're not exactly suitable for ready-to-wear use. When do we get traveler skins? I'm... Begging, please. <laughs> if you like them, though, feel free to visit the boutique and see if anything catches your eye. I'll even give you a special discount. But I'm not going to be able to get any of them. Ooh, sounds great! Paimo was just starting to get curious about all this design stuff. Would you rather look for your lost sibling or get good connections with a deal. fashion designer? You'll Honestly, maybe he'll be more willing to come with um, me if he knows that I, I have... Know. All the Hi, drip. <laughs> Be like, I can get you the I'll coolest you tomorrow, drip, then. bro. Come on. Yep, sounds good. Wait, kids' clothes? Paimon told you already, she's not a little kid. That's all that's gonna fit you, Paimon. You're gonna have to suck it up. You are gonna have to suck it up. All right, six a.m. Yippee! I will be very surprised if we get to see any form of outfit <laughs> on the Traveler. You know, Hoyaverse is a small company after Chiro, all. Here! Very small indie company. Uh, you're here early. I haven't even opened the shop yet. I'm very prompt. Wait, I like to be on time. Left already? Yeah. Yep, with the special patrol. Bright and early. Did everything go all right on the road? No, we don't know that. <laughs> I believe so. The patrol makes for quite the entourage. The way they marched forward with Kiralra in the center, <laughs> you'd think she was some sort of VIP. Navia Slay. The, the Spina also came with a pretty large group, led by Navia herself. I love her. They took care. She's of living her best life out here as well. Kiralra won't so much as step on a single stray rock on her journey. <laughs> well, I that's good. That Navia decided out of the blue to make a batch of macarons as a going away gift for Kirara. Hello, welcome An to the stream. Excellent souvenir to remember Fontaine by, I'd say. Sounds like Navia really got into it. My thoughts exactly. She even lamented the fact that she didn't have time to prepare. <laughs> the Hoyo is a small fancier. company. <laughs> was that I'm a moon cat sure reference? She can't wait for it was, it was. I was thinking of you. You know, now that you mention Navia. Paimon thinks the two of you are actually pretty similar. You say what you mean, and when you have an idea, you really hit the ground running. I yes. suppose that's why we're such good friends. Navia has a certain resilience about her. It's part of who she is. No matter what comes her way, she never bows down in the face of adversity. That sort of determination and courage is something I really admire. Yeah. She's nicer than you, though. That same spirit is the true vision of my brand. 
When she first mentioned commissioning an outfit from my boutique, well, I'm sure you can imagine my excitement. It's like finding the perfect brand ambassador, huh? Indeed. Customers pay attention not just to the clothes, but also to the figures in society who wear said clothes. People like to copy the styles of those they look up to. She's got a good business mindset, that's for sure. Huh. And here Paimon thought all that mattered was for the clothes to look cute. Fashion is about more than just looks, my dear. Especially if you've got your sights set on a market the size of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, would you look at the time? Is it time? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's get down to business. To the feet. <laughs> the Huns. Indeed. Give me a moment while I go retrieve some fabrics and sample outfits. Why don't you wow. help me set up the shop displays in the meantime? Okay. I can do that. So where are the sleeves? <laughs> Shiori, I think there's a problem on these. <laughs> there's no sleeve. There's no armhole. Set them up? Uh, how exactly? Just carefully organize the ready-to-wear clothes with an eye toward their types and styles. This way, we can guarantee that the customers will see something different every day. Okay. Whoa, there sure is a lot that goes into running a store. It's not that bad, Paimon. <laughs> Calm well, down. Then, I'll leave the displays to you. We literally just have to move a couple mannequins. We'll be fine. So, uh, Wait. we just need to put all the clothes with oh. similar styles together, right? We want the kimono here. We want the, the men. Men. There we go. It's all done now. <laughs> See, there's no armholes on these. Shiori, did you forget the armholes in your pattern? <laughs> that, that would kind of reflect badly on you as a designer, I think. Not bad. You might just have an eye for design. It's, uh, it's, it's not that complicated. <laughs> They're very anyway, clearly different, but let's whatever. Let's move on to the real task at hand. Over here, stand still. I'll take your measurements first. Yippee! Um, excuse me, Miss Chiori. Oh, good morning, Leanne. What? How have you been recently? Uh, not too bad. I'm sensing falsehoods. <laughs> Your gown will be ready next week, so there's no need to worry about missing the ball. Or did you come here today because you'd like to make a new request, perhaps? Oh, no. Nothing like that, Miss Chiori. To be honest, I came here today to cancel my order for that gown. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh, cancel your order. Uh, but you can keep the deposit, of course. I know you can't return any materials you've already used. <laughs> Some people don't like holes in their dresses, Geekling, even if they are for their arms. <laughs> yeah, they, um, I get it. Some people like to walk around like they're in little straight jackets. <laughs> but, like pretty straight jackets <laughs> so they got a little skirt you know <laughs> don't worry about the materials i'm more concerned about you did something happen leanne have your plans changed um... what happened it's all right i'm not trying to make things difficult for you i'll take note of the cancellation what is it are you poor thank you i'm really sorry don't worry about it just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Does it have something to do with Uther? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sussing that man out no matter if anything happens. I'm gonna trust that it's him. Is it just Paimon or was she acting a bit strange just now? Wonder why she wouldn't tell us why she was canceling her order. Well, it was probably personal, Paimon. We don't have to know everybody's personal information despite what you seem to think. It's not a big deal. These things happen every once in a while. A family emergency, an important payday falling through, a lover's quarrel, no one to take you to the ball. I've pretty much heard it all. Judging from the look no. on her face, something's keeping her from revealing the truth to us. It's best not to pry. Yeah, well, you got it. this means you'll have more time to work on Fashion Week, right? That's true. Come, let's pick up where we left off. Oh my gosh. Is Another Ms. one? Chiori in? Huh, um, <laughs> gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she's in, honestly. <laughs> I 
I am. How can I help you? Um, I'd like to return this item. <clears throat> oh. What? Could I ask why? Another it's one? It's just, um, not to my liking. You said I could get a refund if I wasn't satisfied, so that's why I'm here. Suspicious. Something tells me that Uter is behind this. Is there something about it that didn't meet your expectations? Are the sleeves too short? Or is the color too dark? I can always make those adjustments for you. Um, I don't know about changing the color. I think you'd have to remake the whole thing <laughs> for that. But, you know. No, no need. You don't have to concern yourself with that. I'd just like that refund, please. Hmm. And I'd be happy to process that for you. If you could just tell me the cause of your dissatisfaction. Is Fiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. <laughs> Hello? Another one? Is there some sort of new calamity coming that I haven't heard about? Another flood? Or an apocalypse, <laughs> maybe? An apocalypse. What does the prophecy say this time? You'll be spared if you get rid of all your clothes? Surely the entire population of Fontaine didn't convene and pick this one day to come and return my clothes. What is going on? I think I've got an inkling. Somebody's a wee bit angy. Uh, huh. What kind of rags are you trying to sell us, huh? The way I see it, this shop is nothing more than a black market front run by a bunch of dirty criminals. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Please calm down, sir. Someone's slandering us. Uh, what is he talking about? Haven't you heard? Chioria Boutique has been exposed for <laughs> having close ties with criminals. <sighs> it's all over the papers. Slander. Falsehoods. Cannot believe this. I think the funny water returned. <laughs> That's the only thing that it can, can explain this irrational behavior. And just who is it that dares to throw that accusation around? Well, you tell us. The fabrics you've got here, they're all sourced from underground factories, aren't they? Um, no, they're from Xi'an. <laughs> I've been transparent about my materials from the very beginning. I've already proved there's nothing wrong with them. If a little hearsay and baseless slander are enough to convince you, then by all means, go ahead and hand over your garments right now. Spare yourself from that flood of yours. Or have you not been convinced of that one just yet? Oh. You. <gasps> Burn. I'm off. Miss Tiori? Go outside and help these customers with their return requests. There's no need to ask them why. We'll refund them at the purchase price. Uh, Do we even right. have enough money for that? Or <laughs> And once you're done, put up the sign that says we're closed for the day. Got it. Hmm. Get out of here. We don't need your business Sorry. anyway. Since clearly you don't care. <laughs> I'd rather have less people that actually like the stuff and actually trust me than have all that. They couldn't be more fabricated if you tried. Haha, <laughs> fabricated. No need to worry about them. I'm sure they'll go away Funny. In a few days. <laughs> fabricated. <laughs> anyway, what's your favorite character in Genshin? Um, it's a tie between Kaya and Nubulet. I love them. The real goal here is to divert my attention away from Fashion Week. The best response right now is to tune it out and focus on finalizing my designs. Oh yeah. You'd think that being friends with the Traveler, a symbol of good throughout the whole continent, would make you look less like a criminal. <laughs> right. If you say so, but Paimon still can't help but worry. The best way to respond to public skepticism is to let your work speak for itself. There will be Very no true. doubt about the quality of my work once my new designs are released. The public just has to see it for themselves. Then let's make these the gosh darn best designs Sorry, ever. Bad news! What? <laughs> oh, for the love of... Can a woman not get a moment of pace to do her work? Go on. What's the matter now? Oh it's boy. It's our accessories supplier. They just sent word that they'll no longer be able to supply us during fashion week. Bruh. <laughs> My bruh. <laughs> Alright. So, I think that we didn't throw Uter high enough, I'm gonna be honest. I think we needed to throw him maybe down the stairs or what? something. Uh, no accessories? Not even the ones we pre-ordered? Yes, that's what their messenger said. 
What? And what about the models we asked them to book for us? I think they'll probably pull out as well. Hmm. Hmm. Even the suppliers believe those nasty rumors? <laughs> Alright, Shiori. Ready to go beat someone up. <laughs> Let's go. Is the messenger still here? No, they've already left. So, no accessories means no brooches, no bow ties, things like that? No, like, literally everything, Paimon. Not just that. It means no gems, ribbons, gold thread. All the elements that lend life and soul to my designs. Well, that's no good. If you take those away, does that mean you won't be able to make your designs at all? Oh, gosh, I don't know, Paimon. <laughs> Aloth, you stay and watch the shop. I'll go talk to the supplier myself. Let's find out what happened here. Yeah, and we can back See who we need to beat up. We'll make sure your supplier knows there's nothing wrong with your clothes. Yeah, as everything collapses for Chiori, I think this is a good time for me to leave. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for dropping in. Thank you. In that case, please come with me. <laughs> Hope everything works out for our fashion designer. It will if I've got anything to say about it. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Where's the fool who's who's spreading slanderous rumors about me? I say me, but like us. I'm affiliated now, so so there. <laughs> Yippee! Okay. Uh, by the way, we really are just going to talk, right? <laughs> no. Of course. You should know better. You should know better, Paimon. Wow, they animated the knock. <laughs> it's the little things at this point, man. Who is it? Lenger, it's Chiori. <sighs> We've worked together all these years. The least you could do is allow me a face-to-face -face conversation. <laughs> Straightforward as always, I see. You know, there are certain conventions people usually follow if they want to seek someone's company. Sending a messenger, for example. No. And when has following convention ever gotten me anywhere? Why hire a messenger when I can just explain things in person? Hmm. Have you read the papers today? I don't like to waste my time on baseless lies and speculation. Maybe that's something you should consider as well. Man. <laughs> Bars, honestly. You're right. I only subscribe to the Steambird. And most days, I never even read the others. So, these rumors. The Steambird was the one that published them? No, not at all. They were in some second-rate fashion tabloids. Tabloids? You're gonna believe tabloids? <laughs> Dude. <sighs> Dang, you're gonna ruin all your business relationships over a tabloid. Okay, I see how it is. Well, then, there you go. Those sort of headlines become old news faster than you can read them. Surely a bit of tabloid drama isn't worth cutting off my supply. Literally? <sighs> Especially with no proof. That. But this time is different. Someone paid off the tabloids to publish the same article at once. They even went so far as to leave a copy in front of every house. That's how I first learned of the rules. Who should I pull, Kazuha or Nubilet? I'm a beginner and I won 50-50 on Nahida polls. Mm. Honestly, they're both good. They're both good in their own right. I would say if you're needing... If you're needing a really solid main DPS, go for Nubulet. Cause he's he's really he can do a lot of damage um, just by himself. But if you're if you're looking for more like support um, DPS, like some sub DPS, uh, definitely Kazuha. Honestly, they're both really good, but it kind of just depends what you need. Every house? That means. Someone must have been planning this for a but very long time. But I love them both, time. so. 
It seems your rival really pulled out all the stops this time, Shiori. The article was even published alongside a photo of you. I will say, Nubulet works really, really well with Nahida. So, they, they make a good team. What sort of photo? Uh... A photo of you oh, no. <laughs> beating up someone on the street yesterday. Dang. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Who's fun to play? They're both fun. Um, I like playing Nuvilet a lot because he has um the giant. He has this giant vortex that can like murder people. <laughs> um, so he's definitely fun. Um. Plus, in the Fontaine areas later on, he has, um, he has a swim speed up, so that's, um, helpful, too, for ex exploration stuff. But he's pretty fun. He's pretty fun. I, I definitely really like Catalyst characters a lot, so <laughs> he fits me well. But Kazuha's fun, too. He's, he's good to, like, he's good for area control. He'll suck all the enemies up together. <laughs> so then you can hit them all at the same time. It's good stuff. But Nubilet is definitely fun. Yesterday. I can give an example Wait, after means... after this cutscene. Of the, the vortex. If you <sighs> haven't seen it. Uchair again. It's fun. Here. I've got a copy. See for yourselves. Mmm. Wow, that's a lot of words. I'm not reading that. <laughs> Behind the scenes, the true Chioria boutique takes shape. Not a fashion house, but a house of lies. Relying on its close ties to the criminal underworld, the Chioria brand employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top, giving hope to the evildoers among us that Does wrongdoing this dude, can still man? prevail. Provided you conceal it under the guise of fashion and beauty. Man. I don't know what happened. And I don't want to comment on things that I didn't see with my own eyes. Still, that photo shows you to be the clear aggressor. Damn, but he, like, hired bad guys. <laughs> Will you pull for Chiori or are you saving for Arlecchino? I actually just got Chiori. <laughs> um, so... I'm I'm saving now um, until our Lakino comes out, um, but I'm actually I'm gonna be pulling for Farina first, and if I get Farina, then I will pull for our Lakino because I really want Farina. <laughs> she's a really good Hydra support, so and she's one of my faves. Yeah, he was the one who started it. That little. I appreciate you standing up for me, Paimon, but it can't be helped now. That's right. The court of public opinion has already made up its mind. Still, drink water. To give your I have not said that in forever. Effort. They even dug up the fact that my father was so I know you haven't in the fortress in a while. of Manipede. Whoa. But that was so long ago. In the world of fashion, your past is like a piece of clothing stained with mud. Once tainted, it can never be washed clean. Are you free to play? Um, I'm not like 100% free to play. Um, every now and then I get Welkin. But that's about it. <laughs> um, I have, I've only bought like the packs, um, twice. Before. And I've never, I've never gotten any packs that were more than $30. <laughs> so, I'm not a true F2P, but... Most of the time, I play like an F2P. <laughs> they claim that most of your clients. I don't have Welkin currently and that those either. Who buy your clothes are just like you, people who silence all dissent with violence. I only spend money once I've really run out of options, <laughs> and only on my favorites. The absurdity! I don't even know which part to laugh at the most. Well, it's no laughing matter. Nope. It's not funny at all. Maybe your clientele are criminals. Maybe they're not. There's even the possibility that they're just people who happen to commit crimes after buying your clothes. Which is not her fault. But with the way this article combines fact with rumor, 
trying to determine the truth is practically an exercise of futility. It's not something people are just going to forget about in a day or two. Especially when they've found several people to back up their claims. Man. Venger, are you sure you won't reconsider? If we go through with the show together, we can defeat them fair and square. <laughs> if I were younger, I might have said yes. So what's stopping you now, huh? But I'm no longer that brave young man with nothing to lose. I've got the family business to consider now. I'd be perfectly I happy guess. to work with you again after this. But my daughter is manning the store during Fashion Week. And I don't want her implicated in all of this. She doesn't deserve to be swarmed by all that negative publicity. Man. I... understand. Let me offer you a piece of advice, Chiori. For old time's sake. Let this Fashion Week go. No. There's always next year. You just need to wait for all of this to blow over. I refuse. That means we're letting Uther win, and we're not gonna do that. You're free to wait things out, Fenger. I'll make my own choices. Heck yeah. <laughs> Have you ever thought maybe that attitude of yours is what's gotten you into all this trouble? What's your thoughts on the new Chronicled Wish system? I think that it's cool. I think it would be better if the fate points carried over, though. <laughs> um... That's kind of my only gripe with it, because there are so many five stars you can pull. It's like 180 wishes to guarantee something, and you only get like 20 days, <laughs> which is not a lot. Especially alongside the other banners. I think it would be better if the Chronicled Wish was actually up for the full duration of the version. If they are not going to be carrying the fate points over. Have you ever thought maybe this attitude of mine is precisely what paved the way for my success? Well, fair enough. Then, I suppose all there's left to say is... Best of luck. As for the models... None of them wanted to be implicated in all of this either. It's okay, I'll model for you. Understood. Take care. I'll do it. I'll model every outfit for you. It's okay. <sighs> I have some friends who would help, too. So, um, what should we do now? I know people. Without the accessories, I can no longer use my old designs. Man, we gotta make new ones. Gosh, how could they Yikes. do this? They're making things up. The boutique doesn't have anything to do with violent criminals. Can't people tell this is just a bunch of lies? Welcome to the internet, Paimon. <laughs> it's not actually the, not actually the internet, but it might as well be. The tabloids are the equivalent of Twitter at this point. <laughs> Public opinion has never been about what's true and what's not. It's about echoing the loudest voice in the room. Say it louder for the people in the back, man. <laughs> I should have seen it from the beginning. Uter knows me too well. Everything that happened yesterday was just a trap. Well, guess all we can do is just head back for now. Oh, she's leaving. Oh, Charlotte's here. Charlotte, help! Traveler! Paimon! If anyone can help, Charlotte can. Charlotte, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. Did you see those fashion tabloids this morning? Yeah. Yeah, can we, like, can we do something about that? <laughs> you mean that sorry excuse for an article? Oh, just thinking about it makes Paimon's blood boil. You too, huh? Oh, good, she's on our side. Whoever wrote that article must have known the Steambird would never print something so defamatory. Unfortunately, not all papers in Fontaine share our same sense of journalistic integrity. Man. Miss Chiori doesn't deserve to suffer all this baseless slander. I was just about to find some people to interview so that I can write an article to refute all those claims. Oh, if Charlotte. One thing I can't stand, we love. It's people who misrepresent and distort the facts. Oh, yeah, baby. This is gonna be. Justice. With your help, we, we need might be justice. Able to get some people back on our side. It's my pleasure. I've met Miss Chiori several times. I know she's not the kind of person that article makes her out to be. She was the one who made the hat and tie for my camera. Miss <laughs> Verite. <laughs> I never noticed that it, her camera had a hat. That's so cute. Speaking of Miss Chiori, do you know where she went? Alof told me you were all together. Well, um, she's I, gone. She was just here 
maybe she went over there? Let's go check. Yawn. Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Me, I think Chioria Boutique is done for. I mean, what did they expect? Engaging with criminals behind their customers' backs. They kept up a solid front, though. I've even bought from them before. Because there was nothing wrong with them. Really? How was it? The owner was plenty fierce, that's for sure. Makes sense if she regularly deals with criminals, I guess. I've got the chills just thinking about it. Oh, boy. We, we can recover from this. It's fine. Man, where did no, she go? Lost her. <laughs> did you hear what all those people were saying? Paimon can't believe they bought all that nonsense. I can. People are stupid. Miss <laughs> Chiori doesn't often appear in public or give a lot of interviews, so the general public hasn't had a chance to really get to know her. It's also true that her way of dealing with things can be a little extreme sometimes. It's easy to use that to mislead people who don't know anything else about her. Mm. Oh, this is all Uteer's fault. Paimon would pick him up and throw him across the room too if she could. Wait a second. You don't think Chiori might have gone looking for him, do you? Highly you know, possible. So she can uh, finish what she started. <laughs> that would only make the situation possible. worse for her. I'm sure Miss Chiori knows that too. Mm hmm. You've got a point. Let's just return to the boutique and see if she's there then. Don't worry. I have powerful friends. I'll get Who I'll get Nubi up in here. He'll fix it. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's the lady with the wedding dress. Please don't tell me she's canceling. Uh, this is Miss Letitia. She's also here to see Miss Tiori. Oh, you were the one who came to collect the wedding dress yesterday, right? Wait, please don't say you're returning that dress too. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just here to thank her. In fact, if there's anything I can do to help her out, I'd be more than willing. Oh, yay. We have an ally. <laughs> ah, so you've come across that article as well. Yeah, you probably don't know this. But after I got engaged, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a Chioria dress on my wedding day. Uh, why? My fiancé owns a small business. It doesn't bring in a lot of Mora, but we get by. After he proposed, he took me to Chioria Boutique, and we put down a custom order for a dress. He probably noticed how often I talked about Miss Chiori's clothes, and how pretty they were. Being able to wear one of her dresses to my wedding has always been my dream. Aww. And then? Have I tried uh, Honkai Star Rail? Yes, I have. I have a lot of streams of it, actually, <laughs> if you want to check those out. I'm basically caught up on it. <laughs> and then it's very something fun. happened to the business. And we ran into I actually kind of like it better than Genshin. <laughs> we were able to scrounge up enough to pay off our debts, but it left us without the funds to pay for the dress. But didn't she already say she was able to make the dress from what was left of the original deposit? Yes. When I came to cancel the order, she asked if something happened, and I told her everything. She heard me out, and then told me not to worry. No. She assured me that the deposit I paid would be enough for the dress. And that... And that she'd be able to finish making it in time as well. She promised that I'd be able to wear a Chihoria dress on my wedding day. That's so sweet. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I've always known Miss Chiori to be a woman of her word. It is good. It's just... After I went home yesterday, I couldn't help but take out the dress and try it on. My fiancé happened to walk into the room and... And when he saw me, he froze on the spot. Ah, what a shame. He's not supposed to see it until the wedding day. It, it's okay, you know, it's... You can just have an unconventional wedding. Well, see, that wasn't actually the issue. What happened? He's seen a lot of wedding dresses in his time doing business. So as soon as he saw it, he knew for sure that it must have cost far more than what we paid. Huh? So wait, that means... Yeah. Miss Chihori covered all the costs and held nothing back. Aww. The fabric, accessories, beading, construction... 
It was all of the highest quality. Huh. Well, that's even sweeter. Miss Letitia, I'd really like to use your story for a piece I'm writing about the boutique. Would you mind going on the record? Huh? Well, if it would help Miss Chiori out, I wouldn't mind at all. That's why I like Chiori, even though she's kind of <laughs> scary <laughs> sometimes. She's really sweet. I think it'd go a long way. Your real experience is more powerful than all those lies combined. Mm hmm. Hey, Aloff! Has Chiori come back here since we left? Huh? I thought you were all together. <laughs> Clearly, we're not, Aloff. <laughs> well, we were. Um, if she didn't come back here, then do you know of any other places she could have gone? Um. Oh! I remember now. There is this one cliff by the sea. Miss Chiori would always go there whenever she was upset. No! Oh. In that case, why don't we split up? I'll continue interviewing Miss Letitia, and you two can go look for Miss Chiori. Okay. Right, good. Let's go. Divide and conquer, guys. We're gonna fix it. Man, she went far away. <laughs> That's really far away. How'd she get over there so fast? And these birdies just vibing. Oh yeah, here's here's Nubulets. Thing, by the way, um, actually, I have both of them. Kazuha, he just goes, he goes like that. Uh, but Vanuvi, settle down. You gotta charge it up. Boom! <laughs> it really is fun. I'm playing it. So, who is the best to pull, um, Sparkle or Jingyuan? As much as I love Jingyuan, I would say Sparkle is objectively better <laughs> um if you want a good support she's really really good um she's she's good um My in apologies. the sense that she'll give you extra this skill points must be quite an inconvenience so for you. i love jing yuen but <laughs> he definitely is just a pure damage dealer so you know he's pretty standard but i do love him so <laughs> uh, how did you know where i uh Aloff told you, didn't she? Yes. She did. We were just looking for you at the shop and Letitia was there. She wanted to thank you for the dress. So, you see? You don't have to be sad. We'll figure out how to get through this together. Yeah. Uh, I'm not upset. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Are you sure? Wanna sit I would be me? upset. The view's quite stunning. It's pretty high up. Don't worry. I'll catch you if you fall. Plus, I literally have a glider. I don't know why I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm a beginner and I have Dr. Ratio and Welt, so... I would definitely say go for, um... Go for Sparkle, then, because both of those... I would say that the utility for Dr. Ratio is about the same as Jingyuan. It's just he's imaginary, so... <laughs> They both have a lot of follow-up attacks. So I would say Sparkle would be good, because she'll regenerate those skill points for you. And she'll buff your damage for those two as well. Because they're both pretty All big right, DPS characters. But those are my two cents. <laughs> but if it was purely on how much I like the characters, I like Jingyuan more. <laughs> he's my fave. Well, how does it feel? Wow, the renders in this quest are really nice. I wish they'd do this more. This place is pretty great. Right? It's quiet and open. And far from the relentless critique from fashion commentators in the media. <sighs> it's just you and the beautiful scenery. Wow. Yeah, it's important to take yourself out of that kind of stressful environment every once in a while. <laughs> I didn't grow up in a very strict family. My parents would joke that I grew up to be so assertive because they spoiled me as a child. Did you get him? Um, I have all of those <laughs> characters. I don't know which one we're referring to, Jing Yuen. I do have Jing Yuen, yes. <laughs> but I do also have Dr. Ratio and Weld, but yeah. <laughs> Sadly, no sparkle though. I tried to get her. 
but <laughs> I would get together she's not with the gone other yet. To climb trees and explore caves. One time, I even climbed over the walls of the Kamisato estate. One of the servants had to physically remove me. Darn. Oh, Paimon would have never imagined that. But even as rambunctious as I was, when it came to needlework, I was as quiet and focused as could be. Wow. It was as if I discovered a whole new world within those vibrant, dazzling fabrics. You know the feeling? Yes. Yep, I do have Jing Yuan. <laughs> I got him pretty easily. Uh, sorta. My parents noticed. And they sent me to study under a famous Inazuman tailor. It wasn't long before I had driven away pretty much every master tailor on the archipelago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could say I really tried their patience. You were that misbehaved? I wasn't misbehaved, exactly. I just... often had strange ideas when it came to fashion. Ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. On top of that, ugh, I hated the idea of groveling and making outfits for every arrogant big shot expecting me to be at their beck and call. Fair, anyway, honestly. A few incidents later, Clients can be annoying I soon sometimes. found myself without a master. Worse... Not one shop was willing I'm to I'm at 70 me. pity and I'm guaranteed in the next 10 polls. Um, so thank you for the suggestion. Of course. <laughs> of course, I got you. No wonder you left Inazuma. I was angry and frustrated. So, before I left, I swore to all those masters that my brand would one day become renowned all over to that. I lost my 50-50 for Weld. Oh, uh, yeah. I lost mine for Sparkle, too. <laughs> I got Jing Yuan fast, but I lost it for Sparkle, so... Yeah. Well, that's a great I might have to, to let her go. Towards. After that, I came all the way to the Court of Fontaine. A city often referred to as the capital of arts and fashion. Well, you're making a name for yourself I here. I had a lot of fun starting out. Sure, I was living in a small cramped room... But I was finally free to make whatever I wanted. Honestly, I get that though. Just kind of that feeling of just wanting to, wanting to make your own thing. Definitely, <laughs> definitely is something I have experienced. I had a far more naive view of fashion back then. As long as something was pretty, it would become popular, right? A simple concept, surely. Alas, <laughs> as someone who's been shadow banned on Instagram for the last two years. Lies. Never. Of course. As I spent I can more and more try. Time there is the still industry, time. I learned nothing was ever that simple. Least of all, fashion. Well, I know someone who liked your designs. Oh, you mean Letitia? Yeah. yeah. She did mention that dream. I'll be honest with you. That's the first time I ever heard something like that from one of my customers. Who would have thought? Even as I continue to pursue my dream, my work has also become someone else's. Isn't that the best feeling? I love that. <sighs> I don't have luck compared to Genshin and Hawkeye Star Rail. Yeah. I've been kind of lucky in both recently, but usually actually my Genshin luck is a lot worse. I don't know what's happening right. to me. <laughs> That's enough sightseeing for one day. Time to come up with a way out of this mess. Let's do it. Ooh, looks like you've got your game face back. Back? It was never gone to begin with. I did say I wasn't upset, didn't I? Paimon thinks we should look for evidence that Uter wrote that article and that he hired those treasure hoarders to attack All the best Kirana. in your polls for Sparkle. <laughs> yes. Here's to hoping. Charlotte's already working on an article to address all those nasty rumors so we can publish all our findings in the Steambird once we're done. Mm-hmm. And that is a very, very, um, good publication, so it's got better... I don't like better taking it out trust. the press. <laughs> <sighs> but if Charlotte's thrown her hat in the ring, I won't stop her either. It's okay. If you got powerful people I know behind where you, it'll help. clothing factory is located. It might be a good place to start looking for some evidence. I got Raiden in her weapon in 70 wishes. Epic. Sounds good. We'll come with. As for Fashion Week, well, there's always next year, right? So there's no need to be too upset. Huh? When did this become an either-or situation? <laughs> She's gonna Find do it all. Finding incriminating evidence or participate in Fashion Week. <laughs> 
I'm doing both. Uh, but your accessories. Didn't you say your designs And I won 50-50 for Nahida that? also? Yes. Well, it's true that I haven't quite figured out what to do about that, but... We'll figure it out to as tell we go. You the truth, even here in Fontaine, every time I see the sea, I can't help but remember Inazuma and the vow I made in front of those masters. Thinking about all that, I just can't bear to take even one step back. Yeah, we fall forward in this house. <laughs> <sighs> the sea. What did you just say, Chiori? What if we decked out our designs in, like, sea things? <laughs> the sea. Seashells, coral. <laughs> I've got it. Uh, got what? Come. Let's take a dip, shall we? All right, let's go. Let's go get some seaweed for some accessories. <laughs> let's uh, Chiori, do it. Wait, hold up! This is gonna be good. Honkai Star Rail is a bit tricky to understand. Um, if you're talking about pity, um, it's exactly the same as Genshin. But, like, if you mean story-wise, yeah, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Takes a little while. Chiori, why did you just jump into the sea all of a sudden? We. What do you think is the most beautiful thing in the sea? Wait, look at that. Uh, yeah. Um, a Lumi Twelve? Or a pearl, maybe? Oh, coral's pretty, too. <gasps> I see some now. stocks. You want to use things like yep. that as the accessories for your designs? She's got it. Well, she figured it out. Well, now that help me grab some, would you? Oh, I gotta get in here. Leave it yeah. Perfect. These should be enough, right? Paimon picked all the prettiest ones in this area. Chiori, will these do? Hmm. <laughs> Everything. I wonder how great. they're able to talk I've underwater. Also collected a pretty big batch. <laughs> I so feel like it varies. Oh, I'm comparing to all the things like quests, daily commissions, map, etc. Yeah, dailies are pretty much like if you're just doing your daily like material grinding you'll get it like <laughs> you'll get them it, it's it's really easy basically if you do anything in the game it'll give you credit <laughs> for dailies Great. it's pretty easy so are we gonna head back now and make some new designs yes but don't forget we've got more than just the designs to worry about when we get back i feel like they can't decide whether people can talk underwater or not <laughs> Because it, like, it changes in every other quest, <laughs> like, <laughs> whether they talk underwater or not. Also, like, should it, okay. isn't it, like, a Fontanian thing to be able to swim and stuff like that? Next. But we'll she's not Fontanian. We'll have on hand to create some new outfits. Anyway. You mean we have to start from scratch? Will there be enough time? I'll help. I should be able to make it if I skip out on sleep. No, skipping out on sleep is not the answer. Wait, how come this conversation is giving Paimon major deja vu? <laughs> Sometimes sacrifices need to be made. There's less chests and materials compared to Genshin. There's less to, like, pick up, but it actually is easier to grind for characters, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, because the drop rates are a lot higher in the... In the domain equivalents <laughs> well, anyways, and the calyxes sleep is important. You're not gonna convince Paimon otherwise. it's just most of it is in like the domains of star rail than out and about <laughs> well i can't argue with you there one thing's for sure though i'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work <laughs> that's right all this grit and determination it reminds me of the first fashion week I ever participated in. We're gonna prove what all the haters wrong, with? guys. Uh, let me see. I suppose all there's left to do is tear up all the outfits currently on display. Oh no! You got it! Uh, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> I guess, yeah, that would give us you some materials. Me. Tear them all up. When I went to that first fashion week, I had no savings to speak of. Just a few dozen yards of fabric in a dream. 
I had to make something work, so I tore up all the clothes that I brought with me from Inazuma, and I used the scraps to make my entries for the show. I used the larger pieces for the base fabric, and the smaller pieces for accessories. Well, at least we've got fabric, if it too, worked back from then, the delivery. Now? We can also repurpose some of the ready-to-use accessories in the shop as well. Yeah. You worked so hard on all these outfits. I know. That's why I refuse to let it all go to waste. I'm not going to let them win. Even if it takes everything I've ever made and more. Let's go. I like the concept of the support characters, which help beginners proceed further. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Here goes nothing. No need to be nervous. I won't hold it against you. Of course. Let's do it. If anyone dared to tear up one of my dresses in front of me on a normal day, I'd probably toss them into the sewer. Fair. Fair, honestly. Everyone hits certain thresholds. Just this once, though. I think I can make an exception. Oh, what am go I supposed to tear, tear up? up? Oh, I'm think supposed to kill. Way to vent your emotions. All right, let's go. Bah. Bah. Get out. Oh. Amazing how they show up already folded, man. <laughs> That's magical. I'm sorry. Do you watch anime? Yes, Good I do. Job. That should do it. Chiori, are you all right? Sorry for taking so long. Yay, Nabia. And... Whoa. What happened to your shop? I love Nabia. She can help us too. She. Navia can model clothes, guys. Cause she's famous. Who did this? Those monsters. Slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? They even <laughs> sent people to wreck your shop. She's so go get them. I love it. Give me their names. Since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes. Favorite I think anime? It's about time the Spirit um, Rosula return like, the favor. Uh, I like Spy Family. But I, I like a lot of others too. Um, I watch Demon Slayer. Uh. Jujutsu Kaisen, um, The Disastrous Life of Psyche K, to name a few. Skipping Loafer. Uh, maybe you should calm down a bit first, cause you see- But Spy Family uh... is my fave. It was me, Navia. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh... Don't hurt me. <sighs> what is this, a soap opera? I was the one who asked the Traveler to tear up the outfits. We need all the fabric and accessories we can get. Oh. Don't hurt me. <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> I guess I got a bit ahead of myself just now. <laughs> Back to what you were doing, everyone. You can all just pretend like I didn't say anything. Navia sure is scary when she's angry. Big three, like my top three, or? If we're talking top three, I'd say um, Spy Family, Demon Slayer, and. Disastrous life of Psyche K. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a false accusation. No one's gonna. But I've seen a lot more than that. <laughs> take down one of my friends and get away with it. You and Chiori are really close. Oh yeah. Of course. This is good. Everyone knows that Chiori makes the most gorgeous outfits in town. All of the Spina di Rosula's formal wear is custom tailored here. Now, oh yeah. If only you'd give me the contract for your uniforms as well. As if you'd enjoy designing something as boring and formulaic as a uniform. That's why I didn't ask you in the first place, silly. You know, I actually haven't watched any of those. <laughs> One Piece, Naruto, or Bleach. They're just really long. <laughs> it's kind of the main thing. I don't have a lot of time to sit down and watch like a crazy long anime. Plus, with how much your intel has helped us out in the past, to the Spina, you're more of an intelligence agency than a fashion boutique. If I had it my way, it would be the other way around. Especially One Piece. <laughs> One Piece. I can't. I can't get into One Piece because of how long it is. Anyway, I'll be on it until the day I die. Tell me, how can the Spina be of service to you? Models. If it's not too much trouble, can I borrow some skilled hands to help with some simple sewing work? I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to finish these outfits over the next few days. And models. Oh, no problem. I've got a few of those guys all ready to go. I just knew you wouldn't be intimidated into withdrawing from this year's show. Mm -hmm. When are you going to get started? I can help with sewing, too. Actually, 
There's something else I'd like to ask of you. Model, model. Ask away. I'm all ears. Oh, and Traveler and Paimon, could you help me pass word to Lydia <gasps> and Lynette? I'll need their help as well. Yo, I like this quest. <laughs> it's got all my babies in it. Let's go. I'm done with my interview. Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? Go! Oh! What happened to the boutique? <laughs> this quest is so fun compared to the other ones. <laughs> Like, even though Chiori is not, like, my favorite character, I just love it when the quests focus more on the characters, man. <laughs> the, just the sheer quality difference. Like, between this and Cloud Retainer's quest. Cloud Retainer's quest was basically just <laughs> an NPC Who did this? quest. Give me names! I'll make sure every last one lands a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow! <laughs> oh, boy. Not this again. My all-time fave is Death Note until Naruto, and, and now it's all about One Piece, and I caught up with it, and I'm waiting on the weekly new episode. <laughs> yeah, waiting is hard. I, I miss I miss my faves. I need to watch Death Note. It's on my list. What should we do about these clothes everywhere? Need any help? Sort them by the type of fabric first, and then by color. Oh, and... Don't forget to remove any accessories and put them to the side. That sounds pretty straightforward. I'll help too. Yay! The whole squad is coming together. We're gonna do this. Alright, where are my babies? I need to see them desperately. Where are my children? They probably don't have Fremine with them though. That's That makes me sad. <laughs> I miss my boy. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Lenny, Lynette, great, you're both here. <laughs> Death Note is a, is a good anime for beginners, and did you- have you watched your name? I haven't seen your name either. <laughs> I've had to mentally prep myself for that one. <laughs> I've watched enough sad anime, so I gotta- <laughs> I gotta be mentally prepped. I've seen quite a bit, um, of anime, but they're like random ones. Like your Lion April and stuff. A moment later and you'd have missed us. We read the article in the papers. Head we were just about to go find Miss Chiori. Head pats. She helped design a number of our costumes in the past and even sponsored one of our Aww. performances. The time has come, it seems, for us to return the favor. Yeah. Let's go. The power of friendship is going to save Chioria Boutique. Also, that would also make a great oh, story perfect. for the, place, the, for the paper. Us. In that case, I assume that there's something we can do to help. Always. Just say the word and we'll take care of it. Even your presence helps. Okay, so it's like this. Are they gonna be our models? Is that all we'll need to do? Should be a piece of cake for the two of us. I'm glad to hear it. Well then, guess it's about time we go and find some evidence for all the bad stuff uterra has been doing, right? Yeah. She already said we shouldn't disturb her over the next couple of days. We can check in with her again once she's done with all the new designs. Yeah, it's just the one movie. I just gotta, I gotta find time to like sit down and watch it. As is the case with most things. <laughs> but the show's in another two days, isn't it? Will she be able to make the deadline? <laughs> she has no other choice. Well, according to her, she wants to first beat Uter fair and square at the show. And then defeat him in the court of public opinion. She said that it be like uh... a two-pronged approach courtesy first confrontation second <laughs> wow way to um way to expose your <laughs> scary parents uh, yeah something like that gosh i wonder who taught them that understood then we'll have faith in her decision we'll go make some preparations see you at the venue in two days all right we're counting on you Bye bye babies. I'm okay. assuming you mean how Let's was your day? It's good. Chiori said. It's and been meet good. Her at Uter's factory in two days. We'll gather the evidence then. And this quest has been much 
much kinder to my brain than some other ones that I've done recently. It's for the show. So that's definitely good. This is a breath of fresh air compared to Cloud Retainer's quest. And now I get to dissociate for the next two days. <laughs> Nubula just freezes in place. Oh boy. Yippee! Alright, where is this? Just underneath? Okay. I will say, um, <laughs> this is kind of a random story, um, but it just happened to me. Um, if you like bats, please close your ears. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. But last night, I found a dead bat in our sunroom. <laughs> and it was very sad. But I don't know how it got in there. But it's it's in a better place now. I'll spare the gruesome details. But other than that, my day's been good. <laughs> Just a few steps left now. I've handed the rest over to Alof. We should be able to make tonight's show. Yay! Wow, that's cutting it real close. Are you sure she'll be okay without you? Don't worry. I have no intention of giving ground on either front. With the fashion show scheduled for tonight, Uta Man, how come I didn't help? <laughs> this is our only chance to secure any incriminating evidence. Surely I could have helped a okay. little. Okay, Paimon totally gets that this is all his fault and he totally deserves it, but... Wouldn't we technically be trespassing on his property if we just barge in like this? Yeah, and what if someone takes a picture of us breaking in? This factory is usually open to the public. It may not be open for business right now, but that doesn't mean visitors can stop by for a tour. Mm. We're just curious customers after all, aren't we? Well, definitely. You for sure. Anyway, Uto's factory is right over there. Let's hurry up and get moving. All right. Uh, why would he open a factory over there? Yeah, that's a very weird spot. Like any any potential customers have to climb up a ladder to get to your store. We have different marketing strategies. Interesting. While I specialize in high-end custom garments, he prefers low prices and large sales volumes. I don't know. Maybe the rent here is cheap. So, Timu? <laughs> Alright! He's the Timu of really Genshin creepy. World. I or she in. Feeling like sad that. for Bat. I know. I think my dog got it, but Let's I don't know. Guard. I don't know what happened. I didn't hear anything, even though it was right outside my room. But still sad. I don't know if maybe she dragged it in from outside or something. It was very sad. All right. Let's go. Um. Hmm. Maybe I bring this team. Cause she does. She needs another Geo for her to work. It's gonna give me Chiori, but I think I think this team will be fine. Yippee! Any goodies? Any goodies? Okay. <laughs> I gotta check. Come in. There really is nobody here. Wow, this place is big. It's very big compared to Chioria. Welcome, Hello. dear visitors. Ah! Oh, Byron <laughs> nearly fell out of the air. What is that thing? A mechanical guide. They usually use a recorded tape to give you a tour of the factory. I Please see. Please follow me, dear guests. This place doesn't seem very bustling. <laughs> also, why is Paimon scared of this thing, but not First the little chefs from the from the, the gradual evolution of our clothing brand? The restaurant place. They're the exact same. Wow. I can't After imagine that, that this place will be cheap. Look how big it is. Popular styles. Otero seems to be doing pretty well for himself, doesn't How am I supposed to peruse if you've got it all glassed you? in? He could just focus on improving his own brand. This is the studio where our designs are made. 
Please, take a look around at your leisure. Wow. Yep, this seems like Uther's workspace, all right. Let's see what we can find. Um, is the team Kazuha, Nubulet, Nahida, and Kuki the best for Abyss? Um, I would say it's definitely one of the meta teams, um, for the last one, but, um, it depends where you're at in Abyss, um, in Spiral Abyss. If you're, um, if you're level 8 or higher, or floor 8 or higher, um, it kind of changes every few weeks, like, who's good in there. So I'm, and it just barely changed, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure who's good this time around. But before that, I would say, honestly, it's a pretty solid team, um, in general, or something similar. It's not too hard to get through the first eight floors once you've got some solidly built characters. I would say... These are the fitting rooms. Please use them at your leisure. Huh? There seems to be something in this fitting room. Huh? Oh man, I can't sit. Disappointing. Uh, why did the door just close? Hold on oh. tight, Paimon. Oh, ah! <laughs> the changing room is falling. <laughs> oh no! Let me out. Oh, <laughs> that's normal. <laughs> Free me! It seems to have stopped. Why are we in the Fortress of Meripede? <laughs> Where did this thing take us? It seems like we're someplace deeper inside the factory. Pew, pew. Ooh, it changes her it changes her attacks to Geo too. That's cool. I cleared eight recently with my Raiden and Nahida. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure because it like every um every few weeks the um the last four floors reset um and they have different like buffs um for different kinds of characters so like last time it was um it like upped the attack for normal charge normal and charged attacks so nubulet was really good for that Look out, there are guards here. oh no there's guards here whatever will we do let's light it up Upon you. Don't worry. Everybody, it's gonna be no back. problem. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I would definitely say look up some guides. There is a lot of um, there's a lot of websites that have like um, a bunch of different teams that are good for each um, for each floor, because after floor eight you have the you have the two split teams. You know, so it kind of varies. This place is filthy. Are the clothes from Uther's shop seriously made here? Man, sounds like we need to expose this guy. I think he might have been projecting a little. <sighs> over there. Ew. Ugh. Yucky. That water looks super nasty. Oh, Paimon can smell the stench from all the way over here. We should take some pictures. I want Kuki for Hyper Bloom team. She's epic on Hyper Bloom. Oh my gosh. And I was the one using unsafe materials, Uter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think he might have he might have accidentally wrote your name instead of his. So he was actually the one who opened an underground factory. No wonder his clothes always felt weird to the touch. Mm. He's been using all manner of tricks here in a bid to cut costs. Dang, man. Should, should the clothes made here even be worn? Never mind issues with shrinking and fading. These materials can give you skin problems if you wear them too often. That's mm. terrifying! Let's take some photos right away as evidence. Heck yeah. I can't believe he's willing to let people tour this place. <laughs> well, I guess maybe this they don't we won't because be able to try and deny anything in court. we weren't supposed All to right, fall down in the changing going. room. I guess most people wouldn't see that. Ooh, she can dash forward. Okay. They got me practicing. Uh, does it look like there's a Oh, here. she goes high. Hey, let's go up. I didn't realize that. That's really nice. 
She's good. I can do it again. Can I do it again? <gasps> Whee! Ooh, and the effects are pretty. I like it. This place seems like some kind of warehouse. Ugh, and it stinks too. It's been a good day, so thank you for your suggestions and have a good night. See you soon. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you have a good rest of your day. What? Uh, what's going on? Our way in's been blocked. Of course it has. <sighs> We've been trapped. Seems like he knew we'd be coming. You did say he knew you really well, didn't you? Yes. And that's because we used to be partners. <gasps> Shock horror. But you're practically at each other's throats. Now you're telling us you used to work together? Often the greatest rivalries stem from broken friendships. When I first came to Fontaine, we were both fledgling designers who longed to gain a foothold in the world of fashion. We shared the same goal, so we decided to work together. Well, in the beginning, what we both happened? wanted to make clothes that would stand out from the crowd and shatter tradition. The kind of clothes that would turn heads and leave people in awe. But with every criticism we received, and every sponsor that rejected us, Uter's confidence disappeared little by little. Oh, and then he became a sellout. Finally, right before Fashion Week, he came to the conclusion that we wouldn't be able to make the designs we always dreamed of. And we parted ways. For my part, I gambled it all and devoted everything I had to that one week. I came out the other side with something that really made me proud. I was nervous to present it, of course, but... I knew it was my chance to show the industry what I was made of. In the end, well... You received the acclaim of all Fontaine while Uter gave up on his dream and turned to making this sketchy stuff. Yeah. I don't know the exact details of what happened after that. All I know is, after I opened Chiore Boutique, he's harassed me every year since. Remember how I said he was probably jealous? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. That doesn't deserve your sympathy. I'm literally psychic. Well, this is making me feel better right after the last rest. stream. <laughs> Missing the show is as good as letting him win. Mm hmm. Uh, there you gotta are some hurry. Control panels over there. Let's see if any of those buttons do anything. Oh, yeah. Let's just mess around. That's not gonna cause any problems at all. Definitely. Oh, that doesn't seem to have done anything. Uh, maybe try the next one? Ah, didn't do anything either. Uh oh. <laughs> There's an alarm. Warning. Warning. Unauthorized intruders. Uh oh. Uh, this is fine. <laughs> no problems. Um. No worries. I'm fully authorized. I don't know what you mean. Go in. Delicate as silk. Look over there. Seems like there's a way out. Okay. Maybe we can use these mechanisms to get higher. Or I can just, you know, use her skill. <laughs> that thing it like taught me how to do. Does that work? I want to see. <laughs> How dare it! Did it really- it put an invisible wall up there? Are you kidding me? Why would somebody put a, a mechanism right there? It's dumb. I literally don't need your mechanism, thank you. Ooh. Ooh, treasure. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Amazing, we haven't seen any workers here yet. You'd think that they'd be busy even with Fashion Week going on, but you know. Whew. That's we just finally me. made it out. Uh, uh -huh. Why does it feel like the movement patterns of those mechs have changed? <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> I got smushed. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I was supposed to get on it. Um Oh, what? I didn't do that before. 
Are you kidding? Warning. Warning. Unauthorized intruders. Initiating shutdown procedure. This is fine. I'm I'm figuring it out. Yippee! Okay, I don't want to get smushed by this one. Here. Warning. Warning. Unauthorized intruders. Ah. This is a very inconvenient layout for a factory, I'm just saying. Like, man. Eh. Free me. Let me go. Ooh, a big chest. Yes. Now we get to swim. Man, I really love swimming in this game. It's so fun. I just feel so, like, at peace in my brain. Also, I have literally never liked swimming mechanics in any game ever. So this is a first for me. It's very nice. But also, eh, yucky, We're dirty water. Disgusting. Don't, don't consume that. That's bad. Where are we? Oh, we're just back in the normal area. At last. Oh, no. Two, four, Gardamex. Whatever will we do? Oh, those chambers couldn't hold you, I see. What a surprise. Man, you're putting your workers in danger with all that. My gosh. My guy, that's not very practical if you want to, you know, do things efficiently. I'm just saying. We've collected a bunch of evidence on all the nasty stuff happening at your factory. You're not getting away this time, Uter. I literally don't say that, Paimon. <laughs> we don't want him to know we've got evidence. He's going to try to get it. Also, I can take down four Gardamex. What do you mean? The evidence on your person, you mean. <laughs> what makes you think I have any intention of letting it get past these walls? That's literally what I've said. Oh. No. Oh. I can beat up these guys. This is... Stop pretending More to feel threatened by guards. these guys. Really? Ever thought about using these funds for a legitimate purpose? Ugh. Oh, but Like, actually making good clothes? A legitimate <laughs> purpose. Man. What? Destroying Chioria Boutique? Or continuing to make your rotten rags? Proving that fashion is merely a laughable farce. A carnival of ignorance! Mm, okay. Whatever. You're just insecure. <laughs> you know what your problem is, Uter? You've become so obsessed with the concept of fashion itself that you let it paralyze you. Stop trying to cater to it. Focus on your own work, and you get to decide what fashion means. Yeah. Spare me the lecture, why don't you? Sooner or later, Spare you'll me your lecture, then. The voices okay? Too, you know. I don't want to listen to you After talk. All, what is fashion but another form of public opinion? Like, what makes you think I want to hear anything you have to say, buddy? Fashion is about aspiring Bucko. towards a certain ideal. But it's up to you to decide what it is. My brand caters to no one but myself and my vision. That's my ideal, and it's not going to change. Heck yeah. Play. Create the things you want to create. Honestly, inspiring. <laughs> As someone who constantly gets stuck in work, work mode. Oh, what would please the algorithm? I have to remind myself a lot not to do that. Because <laughs> then I start hating it. <laughs> Well, once the people witness their former darling's spectacular fall, they'll understand how laughable that ideal truly is. Oh, yeah. They're gonna find it really laughable when I beat you up. <laughs> That's what you've been trying to prove all this time? Your jaded understanding of the industry is the reason you've had it out for my brand for so long? Man. You weren't like this before, Uter. What happened to the man who wanted to make something that would bring the entire world to its knees? I mean, he's kind of doing that. He's going to give them all the plague. <laughs> so they'll fall to their knees because they're sick. He realized long ago how utterly naive and ridiculous that dream was. You gave up on your dream 
But that wasn't enough, was it? You had to find a way to prove to yourself that it could never have been possible at all. You think you understand. But you're just a bitter man who let his regrets dictate his choices. No. You regret giving up on your dream. So you stopped at nothing to prove to yourself that it wasn't the wrong choice. Oh my gosh. Hit him where it hurts. Hit him where it hurts. Come on. Killing blow. Killing blow. This whole thing, Uter. It's pathetic. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> Ouchie. Okay. <laughs> You're pathetic. Pathetic? Why don't you take a look in the mirror? You're a fool daydreaming about taking all of Tevat by storm. Hey, at least she's well, trying to do that. Good luck doing that when even Fontaine doesn't have a place for you anymore. <sighs> You're right. Maybe all those who pursue their dreams are fools. Hey, but at least she's actually making good stuff, unlike you. The more pitiful still are cowards who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. Oh my gosh. She's got some great one-liners, honestly. Shoo. Oh, that's a gun. <laughs> so, okay. Hold on. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> and jump skill. All right. You go, Chiori. I'll beat this guy up. Don't worry about it. No. You go instead. But he has a gun! He's got a gun, Chiori! It'll be fine. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed. He just to the plan. materialized the gun out of thin air. Okay. I'll deal with him. Some lessons are best delivered in person. Honestly, this guy should know better after everything he's been through. <laughs> he needs to stop messing with her. Catch up with us soon! Trying to leave, are we? <sighs> I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. Her sword's design is so cool, honestly. <sighs> but all that changed after our tour of your factory. <laughs> Still trying to talk tough, I see. That says you. No matter what you've been through, no matter why you've become like this. If I may borrow the words of a friend, a guy like you doesn't deserve my sympathy. Well... <sighs> oh no, he's getting angry. He's gonna throw a temper tantrum, guys. <laughs> Allow me to show you the true meaning of the Chioria brand. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's do it. The Chioria brand represents more than a person or a trademark. Oh my gosh, it's pretty animation. Life. I love this style of cutscenes, man. Friends at Fontaine Fashion Week, please feast your eyes on the extravaganza that Chioria Boutique has prepared for you today. Uh, 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 <laughs> when did Kirara get here? Brilliant, dazzling, and wholly unique. And most importantly, <laughs> an enduring, never say die spirit. That's the true meaning of the Chioria brand. Look at all the pretty details in the art. Oh my gosh. And now, let's welcome the thundering seamstress, Miss Chiori herself. <sighs> Did Chiori not... <sighs> wow, how did she do that? <laughs> Let the show begin. And then we don't get to see any of it. Oh! The world may okay! Fashion along with it. Oh my gosh, but I have Chioria to draw that. <laughs> remain the same. Wait, I love these. Great. Chioria caters to no one. Not even the times. Throw these Brother, outfits, I love. Chioria will always lead the fashion of our time. Finally, let's not forget. I need to draw Liddy's outfit, it's so fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Look at how cool these are and Lynette's. Holy smokes. Lynette's is so pretty. On their dreams are worthy of this brand. Wow. Well then, I suppose all that's left to say is Happy Fashion Week, fellow dreamers. Very nice. Oh my gosh. 
Man, the live 2D has gotten so good on these cutscenes, too. Oh my gosh, they're up on the roof. How about this? <laughs> a little more to the left. Like this? Hmm. Perfect. Do we have someone spotting them? If they fall down, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> now, well, you know, cats always land on their feet, but more like Navia, I guess. Oh, that looks great! Miss Chiori, can I take a picture? Of course. Yay! I didn't know you'd make a brand new signboard. I made it before Fashion Week. I figured it'd be best to put it up after the success of the show. Yippee! Oh, well. How can you become renowned through all of Tevat without a fancy signboard of your own? The Spina's way ahead of you in that regard. Now that you mention it, perhaps our magic troupe could use one of those. Whoa! Hmm. Our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat box. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Yes, we can't forget Pear, because Fremine is just as important Pear as you two. Pear alias, of course. Hmm, how about... Ah, uh, the Hangry Bird. I don't know about that one, Lenny. I think we need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Does that mean your signboard is going to be two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single hat? That sounds adorable. Let's do it. Ooh, that sounds super snuggly and warm. Yes. And a bit cramped. No, snuggly. Only snuggly. Miss Giori, I'm done taking pictures. You can expect the article in tomorrow's Steambird, along with the evidence the traveler gathered. Thank you, Charlotte. It's my pleasure. Bringing the truth to light is a journalist's duty. Yay! Going forward, feel free to custom order any accessories you need for Monsieur Verite. <laughs> house. We gotta get this. We gotta get this camera a full wardrobe, guys. Huh? huh? You, you really mean it? Of course. The same goes for you too, Linny and Lynette. If you have need of any costumes in the future, just drop me a note. Aww. What about me? <laughs> what about me? I literally did more than all these people. <laughs> what about something other than a costume? Hmm? Thank you, Chiori. It's much appreciated. Well, I don't really need anything. Just don't be a stranger, all right? I don't need anything either. So long as you continue to request my international courier services from Comania Express, we're golden. Actually, that reminds me. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Yeah, like, weren't you supposed to be gone, Kirara? Huh? Um, about that. The Spina di Rosula has prepared a special vehicle for you, so you can just get in, and we'll push it all the way out of Fontaine. What? No, that's so embarrassing. That, that's not what that line says. <laughs> that's literally... <laughs> that's literally the exact opposite of what she said, but okay. Ooh, do we get something nice too, Chiori? No. Of course. Just hold on a second. Disrupting public order at the show. Appropriating venue what? lighting equipment without authorization. Using weaponry in public. Hosting a dangerous performance without notifying the authorities. What? No! Um, Chevras, we can explain! If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, please report them to the special patrol at your earliest convenience. Will do! Enjoyed that, didn't you? You nearly scared me half to death. Says the one who pulled that stunt earlier. How about you do me a favor and tell me in advance next time you're planning something like that? And if I had, would you have approved? No. Get her. <laughs> it would have at least spared me a whole lot of anxiety. <laughs> well, I would say I'm Fair. more than up to you, have I not? A whole underground workshop in the Fluve Sandra and the man responsible all tied up and handed to you on a silver platter. Sounds pretty thoughtful if you ask me. Yeah, honestly, can't complain. All right, I won't argue with you. You can have this one. Well, friends, I would say we've earned ourselves a nice meal for our efforts. Let's go. Spina's treat. I'll Yay. have to take a rain check. I've still got a lot of paperwork to take care of, so you all go have fun. Killjoy. Oh, by the way, Chiori, I ran into Vanger on the way here. He had a message for you. It better be the most heartfelt apology I've ever heard in my whole life. I don't need to hear it. I'm sure the old fool used pretty much every apology in the book. I'll just visit him some other day and give him a hard time about everything. <laughs> As you should. You know him well. Thanks again, Shelfrus. My pleasure. 
Oh, and one last thing. That was really quite an amazing show. <laughs> yeah, it was. My baby slayed that. Slayed. You don't say. All right, all right. Uh, follow me if all you right, want in on right. the celebration feast. Come on, we're leaving. Yay. Traveler, Paimon. Not even one hungry Paimon joke? With view? What is this quest? <laughs> know that we'll be a little late. There's something I'd like to give you. <gasps> what? A place with the view? Oh, Paimon knows where you mean. Sure, no problem. Way to blast my ears out, Paimon. Perfect. Thanks. I'll be right there. I'm just like... <laughs> okay. Gee, thanks. Man, I have to wander all the way out here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just tell Navia I'm gonna be there in, you know, five hours. <laughs> Jeez. Yippee! Oh, my gosh. I, like, I might not draw all of those designs, but definitely I have to draw Lydia Sorry and Lynette because they're so cool. Oh, we didn't wait long at all. But what did you want to give us that you couldn't share right in front of everyone else? Here, take this. What? What is it? Something I can't oh, do anything wow. with. A brooch! Yo! The style of Chiria Boutique too. <gasps> Wait, Paimon gets one as well? Paimon gets something? No way. I've only made two for now. After much consideration, I decided to give them to you two. <laughs> well, it's okay. They're gonna be all gone after this quest anyway. <laughs> Thanks. You've been a great help. I'm not gonna get to even actually wear it. I know weak, that. You stayed by my side. Of course. There were even times when I felt like I had to fight back and win. But I feel like the brooch is even kind of not the not the same as the other people who get free outfits. <laughs> well, we may have helped a little, but Paimon would say you deserve most of the credit. This result, it was all you, Chiori. Mm -hmm. I know for certain that was not the case. It is. Shush. <laughs> I've chased Be quiet. my dream for so long that I've come to understand something. Apart from conviction and persistence, the thing that matters most is having friends who believe in you even when you don't believe in yourself. The power of friendship never fails, baby. A single person can only do so much. Without all your help, Chioria Boutique could have easily fallen to ruin. Well, Paimon doesn't think it would have ever gotten to that point. Not if you had anything to say about it. Honestly, I kind of uh, like how the traveler looks with the, the brooch. Stuff you said at the show. You aren't worried it's it'll pretty. rub some people the wrong way? Like, it doesn't quite match Paimon's aesthetic, but our aesthetic, it, it blends right in, honestly. I like it. Perhaps my words were a little pretentious, but they do reflect how I truly feel. I won't bow or scrape before any force in this world, much less any individual. Heck yeah. I'm confident in the quality of my work. Create something beautiful, and there will always be people who appreciate it. Honestly, this whole quest is so inspiring to artists out there, man. Well, guess there's nothing to worry about then. Should we go back and join them at the victory feast? I like it when these quests have a unique story to tell. Oh, yes, of course. But before that, I'd like to admire the view for just a little while longer. You know? Of all the nights I've spent in Fontaine, I'd say this is the loveliest by far. Aww. I liked that quest. That was really good. Way nicer compared to the <laughs> to Cloud Retainer's quest. Yeah, I'm assuming I don't have it on. Because why would I? No. Why can't I have little options to put the little thingies on that I've gotten? Huh? Why? Well, that was very good. I enjoyed that. I like- I really like- honestly, you know, people- people will say like, oh... You know, it's fine for the NPCs to be a major part of the quests because it shows how the characters interact with There's the no NPCs. Such thing as pure freedom in this world. But like, even the wind cannot blow on. That's forever. not good. <laughs> it's all about the NPCs. I love quests like that where it has 
a lot of characters you really like, some NPCs that are not, <laughs> that don't have more screen time than the actual character whose quest it's supposed to be. <laughs> you know. You know. I don't know. Honestly, that was a really good time, and I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. Like, you know, I like Chiori, but I was like, kind of, you know, kind of neither here nor there with her. I wasn't like, I love her or anything, and I'm still not. But honestly, it was a good time. It was a really good time. I liked it. I'm gonna turn in my commissions Add real quick, Astra. though. Yippee! Thank you for com. I liked that. And absolutely, I am going to be drawing the siblings in their outfits because I freaking love them, okay? That's epic. Oh, I have enough for another poll. <laughs> Should I do one more for Eula? One more for Eula. Let's go. One more. For the road. Wow. Sounds about right. All right. Anyway. <laughs> All done now. Okay. Alrighty, everybody. I'm probably gonna call it there. Um, since that took a little while. Um, so yeah. Um, soon enough I'll have... I know there's an event coming up soon, so probably my next Genshin stream is gonna be that. Um, here we go. Let me just... Move on over to my chatting screen. Hello. Um... Next Genshin stream probably will be when the event is out, like, all the way, so I can just blast all the way through it. Um, so, yeah. But eventually, I will have a stream where I do Lynette's Hangout. Probably another Hangout with it. Because um, I could do Kave. Kave and um, Kaya. I haven't done their Hangouts yet, either. So, we could double up some Hangouts. Or... Um, I still have Nuvilet's quest as well, so we can double some of them up on a day where I can stream for a while. Um, so yeah, but either way, that was fun. I liked it. Um, anyways, I hope that you all had a fun time. I know that I did. <laughs> um, and I will see you all very soon. Um, next stream is Friday. We're playing Hollow Knight. <laughs> so... Um, if you're interested in Hollow Knight or interested in just hanging out, then, uh, I'll see you then, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and that is all from me. <laughs> I will see you all in the next one. Geekling, signing off. Bye-bye!